One of the things I'd like to show you that Buddy showed me, although a lot of times he didn't like to really talk a lot of nuts and bolts about drumming, uh, you know, he liked to talk about sports, let's go have some good Italian food or some good deli food. But one thing he showed me at my request years ago was I noticed when he rolled very loudly how seamless it was, you never seemed to hear the hand sitting. Every drummer wants to roll like that, but Buddy did it better than anybody, and he particularly could roll very loudly. So I noticed his hands making sort of two circles, and I said, what is that that you do? He said, oh, that's the old whipped cream roll that I got from some of the old New Orleans drummers. And he demonstrated it for me. Simply what it is is you come in sideways in a circular motion on the drum, kind of like this, so that you have less hand hits than when you play like this. Meaning, no matter how good you are with the straight up and down vertical, you're going to get quite a bit of hand rhythm. Buddy circumvented that by using this old New Orleans technique, and he went. In essence, by stopping the vertical hit and making it sort of sneak in at an angle, this is where he got this beautiful seamless roll, even at a very loud volume. But he took it a step further. I've tried to carry on that tradition a little bit that I certainly heard him do so beautifully, and that is the whipped cream roll in rhythm. I hope that helps you get into the woodshed and just practice that whipped cream roll and you'll have a nice seamless thing. <laughs>